everyone this is Rehan back again with another video and in this video I am going to show you how to fix the thermal issue in Alienware gaming laptops. Uh, this issue is not only in Alienware laptops. I have heard about this issue in lot of gaming laptops that is having Windows 10 operating system. Okay, The issue is not because of the poor thermal pasting or any poor thermal design or anything like that. The issue is because of the Windows the uh, default settings that is that comes along with the Windows 10, which uh, the manufacturers fail to change it or miss or like uh, forgot to change it or something like that. So if they have made it as a made the setting setting which I am going to show you as default, you guys won't be facing that thermal issue anymore. Okay. So actually if I searched on the internet and I found that a lot of people are trying to fix this thermal issue by changing the uh, changing the thermal paste and you know that actually is kind of uh, damaging your own very costly laptops. Even I have this Alienware laptop which is getting uh, uh, like uh, you know which is which is very costly uh, which I bought it for more than three thousand dollars. So I don't want it to spoil it by opening and doing all those things so after come after searching for a while i found a fix for it so let's see how to fix that okay so without wasting your time so what we what you need to do is you need to go to the control panel okay and here you need to search for battery settings okay or power options go to the power options and go to the change plan settings and go to change advanced power settings and come down and go to the process power management and here go to the maximum power process state if you guys are new to the fix this issue this will be around like 100 percentage so what you need to do is you need to change it to 90. that's all guys that is the fix <laughs> i don't know uh, like you know if you try to use 100 percentage of the processor like you know each and you, whatever application you run it will try to use a hundred percentage of the, uh, of the processor so that will generate a lot of heat okay so what you need to do is you just need to change it to 90 or 95 okay so this is not going to affect the performance of your uh, you know gaming or anything it's not going it's not you know like maybe a one fps drop that's all we have already checked it so uh, actually like i registered to 50 percentage because i just uh, tried to test it out uh, you know when I, when I registered 50 percentage even there was no fps drops in my gaming okay so that's how you need to fix that thermal issue guys try and let me know and uh, you know uh, so this is one of the scenario which you need to fix it if your gaming laptop is new but if it's uh, older than maybe one year or anything maybe the thermal paste would have one off so in that case you have to change it but this is this is a case of uh, new alien lab new gaming laptop or alienware laptop whichever you want okay so like this is the so the so due to these settings only uh, the processor gets heat a lot and it generates a lot of heat and um, and the thermal issue was there okay and uh, this is a, so and also if you wanted to reduce the temperature more when you are gaming uh, you need to limit your fps while you're gaming yeah you have uh, actually like my display is a 120 hertz display and uh, i'm having a gb of graphics card but still i wanted to uh, you know like um, uh, still, still like you know I, I actually usually play games in ultra settings but uh, uh, but i don't want it to you know like give a lot of tension pressure for the a processor and the uh, in your graphics card so the thing is it's not like okay you have bought costly thing and you you are going to you know uh, give whatever you want and, and and that is going to damage the components only so if it generate if it is going to generate more heat it is going to generate uh, i mean the co component is going to go off very soon so what i recommend is like you know you try to use a fps limiter so one of the FPS limiter which I came across, which is really good, is this Bandicam. So this Bandicam is not only act as a, a video recorder, it is also used to do uh, limit your FPS while you're gaming. Okay. So what you need to do is, uh, so uh, so actually like uh, this uh, this FPS limitation will be available only in the gaming mode. 
So after you install this freeware of Bandicam, you need to go to the gaming mode and go to the FPS and set the FPS limit to 60. Actually, this is a kind of a screenshot which I took now. But uh, above, but it's if you want more performance, a uh, little bit of uh, you know performance equal to the gaming laptop, then you can set it to 60. So that's how you need to uh, you know limit the FPS. And there are others. There are also other softwares. But uh, this Bandicam is the only software you know like that that limits the FPS without crashing my games. I have used other uh, other FPS limiters like Day Extroy and some more other things which uh, which actually uh, uh, like you know crashed my games. Then I thought like uh, FPS limiter is not good for gaming. But uh, after I use this Bandicam, it's actually really good. I have played a game for a long time actually like recently I completed a GTA game for around like uh, 13 hours continuously I was playing guys believe, believe me or not but uh, but there was no heat in my Alienware laptop so which is a really plus point and, and, and it didn't cross temperature more than 60 degree as well 60 degrees as well believe me so it was before it used it to for half an hour gaming it, it used it to cross like uh, 55 to 60 degrees Celsius, but even after 13 hours of gaming, it didn't cross uh, 50 degrees Celsius. So that's how we need to fix the thermal issue, guys. I'm sorry if I have talked to you a lot too much of things, but I wanted to convey my experience of the thermal issue and how I fixed it. So that's it, guys. Okay, guys, I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys like this video, just leave a thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel for more videos. And if you guys have any clarifications or if you guys still can't able to fix this issue, uh, just, uh, you know, like give it in the comments below. And if you guys wanted to download these softwares, you guys can find the link in the description below where you can download it. Okay, guys. So see you guys. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.